everyone, this is Aaron Dominion. Uh, so, last episode we were going about how to just create the first mod and how to navigate the creation kit. Well, in this episode we're going to look at how to upload a mod that you have created. So we have our PC Henry over here, that's the Red Guard. Everything's set up here, we don't need to worry about anything. This is ready to be shipped, so... In your Skyrim directory, you'll want to go just to the main directory, don't go into the data folder, and open up the archive. And then this lovely screen will pop up. Uh, because of what we did in this mod, it's only meshes and textures, because that's all we did. And now, over here, we can not worry about that anymore, and go to the meshes folder. And then... Since this is a actor, we want to go to actor, characters, and then face gen, face geometry, and then we want to look for our, the mod that we were doing. So, Red Guard NPC for video. And notice how it showed up after click and dragging. Now we need to exit out of all of this and do the same thing for the face textures. And then put that there, and now it's in here. Now, you will see some authors not create these BSAs and be like, well, just move them through the appropriate folders. That's perfectly valid, but if you easily want to uninstall a mod or if you want to upload to the workshop, you have to put it into an archive like this. Uh, I will only show the process of uploading to the workshop. It's going to be very similar on the Nexus, so you just have to follow their little wizard on the website. But now that we have this, let's go back to the root data directory. And I'm going to just go here and edit so I can get the name. And let's save our BSA. So... And then we want to call it our mod name and then dot bsa. Um, in order for this to work in the game, you will want to navigate back to your folder where you have the mod. So mine's in the Steam directory, Steam apps, common. There's a lot of games to go through here, sorry. And then Skyrim, data, and this is where you just click save. Notice we have a BSL and a BSA. The BSA is the only important part of this. So we don't need this screen over here anymore. So we can close out of that. And then we go to file, upload active plugin and archive to Steam. And it asks us if we want to use the already existing BSA. Yes, we want to use it. And then Henry Redguard Companion. And then here we want. To, I'm going to say this is a s sample upload for a mod tutorial. And then Henry is a red guard NPC that can be found at the Drunken Huntsman. He is a companion and marriage candidate. And now I want to select a preview image. So those screenshots we took in the last one, I put them into a different location. Uh, if you haven't done this step, you will want to do this. And then, uh, let's use this one as the uh, preview image. It's a little distorted, that's okay. So, we want to flag this as a character mod. Um, as a followers. Um... 
let's see, NPCs, because yes, it's an NPC. I think that's all that actually qualifies for this one, since there's nothing else really valid for this. And it's not really immersive, because there's nothing really going on here. And then we click Upload. And it will give us progress bar at the bottom on the process, or progress. And then it says publishing was successful. Now that's it on the creation kit side, but we have more that we need to do. So, I'm going to go to the workshop. I'm going to go to my files, and then to Henry, the Red Guard. Uh, Companion, notice it says current visibility hidden. That's because it's not at all ready for anything yet. So first things first, we're going to attach screenshots of everything. If I can navigate properly, there we go. Even though this is already there, we want to go ahead and upload that again. We want to upload this. And we want to upload this here. And now, because there is a YouTube video for this, I'm going to go to YouTube and go to my channel. And we're going to pull this URL here. Tutorials. Now this video will also be attached after this, but let's go ahead and save and continue. Now let's go to the title and description. Title can be the same. Um, now let's do this, note, I have a description section, I like to have a change log, and this is going to be version 1, and this is going to be initial release. And then, typically, if you worked with other modders, you would put that, or if you used other resources, you would also put that here. Um, or if you want to have any exiting messages. Uh, so please leave feedback in the comments if there are bugs. Let's just say that. And we have finished that, so we have our companion, we have the image over here. And everything looks like it's going to be ready to go. So, we want to change the visibility to public. And that is it. Now a mod has been released on here. Um, you can do this with whatever mod you have. Uh, typically, in more complex mods, you will want to test to make sure that your mod still works and you didn't skip any files. That's a common thing to happen in this process. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next tutorial.